Today, we got a brand new story trailer for Star Wars Jedi Survivor, so let's go ahead and see what they got going on. It's been a long five years. Strong beginning. Five years after the first game. We've tried to resist. We've tried. Fear and mistrust rule the galaxy. No, 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 no. Wait. Cal, look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company. It's cozy. But left unchecked. It will consume everything until there is only Ooh. ash. It's a force dash. How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy machine of an empire? <laughs> Hope may feel beyond her grasp. But I think we finally found somewhere the empire can't reach us. Okay. Imagine. No more looking over your shoulder. <laughs> place that's worth fighting for no matter the cost i can't wait i'm very very excited for april and of course we're currently doing a playthrough of jedi fallen order on stream so if you guys want to see that too feel free to stop by sometime but there's a few things in this trailer that I didn't see uh, anybody mention yet, or at least I haven't really watched anybody mention things on Twitter or whatever. I'm very excited. Uh, there's some things that I instantly noticed. So right here, it looks like Cal might be joining some sort of resistance or other team uh, obviously he's a part of the resistance Fear in general but trust rule the you don't really know uh what we got going on here just yet but this location looks really cool this kind of has especially with the soldiers like in cover it, it reminds me a lot of the setting for star wars 1313 at least that's kind of how i i feel from it um which unfortunately we'll never see the light of day Fear. But, uh, trust rule the galaxy. poor guy is getting knocked back. Oh, so we got another enemy with... Wait, I just realized they got a, another guy with a lightsaber. But it's a gray light, or I mean an orange one. That looks beautiful there. We got a force, yeah, force dash right there. I don't know if we had that in the first game. Going up against some bounty hunters. Now, here's one thing that we saw today. I did see this, I will say. That logo right there, apparently it's part of the the High Republic is what it's called. I've never read any of the books, but it's been something that I've, I've wanted to do for a long time now. I just haven't gotten around to it. I also wanted to listen to an audiobook of it. So if anyone has any recommendations, if there's like a YouTube playlist of the books or uh, I think there's even comics now too. If you got any recommendations, just let me know. Cause honestly, I've I've always wanted to check those out. I just haven't gotten around to it at all. But that's that's interesting. We're finally gonna see some uh, some High Republic. This guy looks badass. Not gonna lie. I can't wait to see how we go up against him. Uh, doesn't look like he's gonna be an easy guy. It's right here. Sorry, I'm I'm pause champing right now. But uh this right here gives me a lot of God of War vibes. Like when you're putting a puzzle together or you're using the axe to make a platform appear or something like that. The second I saw Cal grab that, pull it over to him, and then push it back over into this area. I know it's something so so little. But it really does kind of give me that vibe for it. And I'm like, oh, man, that, that looks sick, too. Pretty sure, and I could be wrong, but I think that's the voice actor for uh, Steven, uh, Mr. Negative in Spider-Man, and also 
I, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, and I should fact check that. But if I am wrong, feel free to let me know who it actually is. Uh, but I think it's the same guy as Mr. Negative and the same guy that did Red Hood in the Batman Gotham Knights game. Now, this right here makes me very, very excited. If you see, it looks like we have some sort of companion system. And I didn't notice that at all. Um, obviously, you got this guy who looks like he might be like a bounty hunter, ex-bounty hunter, mercenary. I'm not sure what his name is just yet. And then you've got Cal coming in for the light lightsaber hit. A place that's worth fighting for. And right here, too. So... I hope we get a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for like companions because that would be sick. That looks beautiful right there, actually. That like scene. Uh -huh. Oh, here's another thing. Um, so I did hear that uh, Seer has a very strong backstory for the book that came out. There's a book that came out between. The first game and this game. So I, I think it takes place between the five years. So it might be critical to know at least a little bit of information about it. I haven't read it. I think it actually came out like in March, early March 2023. Well, which is, is pretty close to that time. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty cool either way. So I'm going to have to look into that and maybe find an audiobook for that one too because I really do want to know what Cal has been up to between then. And I'm sure we'll find in the game uh, a lot more information about this type of things or maybe a recap. But there's a lot of setup in between. That's five years. A lot of things can happen in five years. So uh, either way, I'm, I'm really excited. Let's finish this out here and see what we got. Jedi Survivor, April 28th, 2023. Boom. Man, I can't wait. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe, and if you want to check out more, check out this video that YouTube thinks you'll like, or stop by the stream sometime. Peace.